Alrighty, so I've been asked to do a complete mod list on the car, and instead of doing a lengthy list, I'll just do a lengthy video. <laughs> so the one thing I want to address right off the bat, I get asked often, am I running more cubes or a bigger motor? No, this is a stock cube, LS9, untouched bottom end, so still 376 cubic inches. Oh, let's see, I'll start at the top. Supercharger lit is factory, but it has been powder coated. I do have upgraded bricks inside of there by CNR Racing. Um, upgraded water manifold inlets by Synergy of Rick Hollenbeck. Uh, these are true three quarter inlets. IAT2 sensor, my secondary one, which communicates to my um, pump in the back for the rear tank and tells it to speed up or slow down depending upon the temperature inside the lid. Um, upgraded map sensor by AEM fuel regulator for my ANA fuel kit. Um, I, I believe the fuel kit's good to 1200 wheel or something else quoted. Um, I don't run their fuel pumps anymore. They had nothing but problems with them. I had a failure at 500 miles and then 2000 miles. So I ended up going to dual AEM. Uh, I think it's a 0400 pump or I know it's like 400 LPH and I'll, I'll put a picture in the video in the part number. This is my flex fuel, the whole setup sensor, all that uh, by DSX. Um, upgraded master cylinder by GM. It's a black reservoir. Um, for the fluid in both these, I did upgrade and put Castrol SRF. I have Cook's 2-inch long tube headers with their 3-inch X-pipe with modified OEM 0 and mufflers, which in my opinion, this thing sounds wicked. I love how it sounds. I am running TR8 IX spark plugs. Uh, let's see what else. There's my line for the Elki. Uh, dual meth nozzles, M15s. Kong... Uh, carbon induction, I will say, make sure you have a good tuner if you're going to run this that can dial this in properly. Um, if not, you'll have, I've heard, I've heard all types of things like surging or dying out, whatever. Uh, this thing on my car drives phenomenal. Perfect. No complaints. Just make sure you have a tuner that's competent enough to dial it in. This is part of my catch can setup. Um, 108 throttle body by Granatelli Motorsports. The supercharger itself is a Edelbrock 2650 made for Kong Performance. And anything else over here that I'm missing? Um, hop switches. Those are for my fuel pumps. I have dual hop switches. Um, I think that's pretty much everything. I'll go to the other side next. All right, on the other side now, you can see the three-quarter lines, the one-inch line that's off of the Synergy tank. I have a 2.625 upper pulley for the supercharger. Um, this is the HD Kong tensioner. These are the lines for the catch can. Well, they'll run. Um, fuel rail stock, but I am running ID 1700 injectors. I do have an upgraded oil pump that you can't see. It is by K-Tech. It's ported and it's high flow, I believe. Upgraded timing chain. Uh, cylinder heads are factory cylinder heads, but they have been ported and milled, CNC ported, all that good stuff. Uh, heat exchangers custom by Rick Hollenbeck. It's an Edelbrock heat exchanger. Dual three quarter inlets, one inch outlet. I don't think you can really see it much. That right there is my front camera. When you're parking anywhere or nosing in anywhere, you don't mess up the front splitter, which is very helpful. I think that's about everything, guys. If um, I think of anything else, I'll come back and address it. But that should pretty much be everything underneath the hood that I, I can remember. I mean, I've had this car for eight years. I'm always doing something to it every year, basically, and trying to keep up with it all and remember it. One other thing in the bell housing, can't see it. Upgraded triple disc clutch by Monster. It's an LT1S. Want to address that? All right, interior-wise, it's literally like stock for the most part, honestly. Upgraded shifter, um, her shifter, short throw shifter, uh, Lloyd floor mats, both sides. Upgraded Pioneer radio, and that's about it. Pretty much stock. I got the um, meth light right there for the kicks on, let you know everything's good for the LK kit. Uh, upgraded gas pedal. What else? That should really be about it. Honestly, wheels have been sandblasted, powder coated, gloss black. They were uh, satin black from the factory. All right, so got the modified zero on mufflers. Always keep them clean. Sound best in my opinion. Tail lights are, uh, I believe they're made by Eagle. I don't know, I bought these things way back in the day, like 2013. Upgrade reverse lights, super bright uh, LED lights. Oracle side marker lights. 
Um, upgraded high beams, 55 watt, 5,000K bulb. Low beam is an upgrade as well, 5,000K. Um, what else? Fog lights, same thing. They're all a max set, so the same color, except 55 watt for the high beam, 35 watt for the low beam and fog light. Um, I believe, what is it? Yeah, 5,000K and I want to say the lumens on the high beams are their way up there. I want to say it's like over 5,000 lumens per bulb, something like that. All right, let's go in the trunk area. Synergy rear tank. Six gallon tank, I believe. I keep around five gallons in it. I don't keep it filled to the top. I don't want it spilling out. Here's a controller for the rear tank and the uh, secondary IAT2 sensor that I have on the driver's side, which communicates with this and tells it speed up, slow down, dependent upon temperature. And uh, that that's about everything. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm missing on the car. I'm sure I missed something, but that's pretty much the brunt of it. Um, if I think of anything else, I'll add it in the video. So here's the mod list, guys, and thanks for watching.